I'll probably read it when I'm like 30 years old and just like quit my job and have nothing to do with my life, you know? Like it's gonna be like a mental breakdown kind of book where like my world is falling apart so I'm just like I'm gonna read this book so I can feel accomplished at something. everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with the mid-year book freakout tag. Pretty much everybody on booktube is filming this right now. This tag was originally created by Chami and Earl Grey Books. I do this tag every single year but I am always so late to the party and I always film this at like the end of July but this year we are on time. We are going to answer these 13 questions all about my reading this year so far. So without further ado, let us get started. I have read 66 books this first half of the year so I don't have a lot to choose from if I'm being honest because a lot of the books I read I wasn't the biggest fan of so this was like really hard for me but the first question is what is the best book you've read so far in 2022 and I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I actually have not finished this book but I know that it's gonna be my favorite because it's by my favorite author in the whole wide world Sophia Elaine Hansen who is now Sophia Slade because she's getting married which is so exciting but it is her newest release which is being released very very soon I believe July is her Kickstarter and August is when it actually gets released but I'll leave the Kickstarter down below if you guys want to like you know sign up for it but it is Night Strider by Sophia Slade I'm obsessed with this book the 30% that I have read so I just know that it's gonna end up being my favorite but if I'm not allowed to use that since I haven't technically finished it I am going to go with Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross this was the number one until I had Night Strider in my hand, but I feel like it is definitely an underrated gem that a lot of people have not read, but if you watched my mid-year freakout tag like three years ago, two years ago, I had the Queen's Resistance on that tag, which I think I used it for like biggest surprise because it ended up being one of my favorite books of the year, whenever that was. I just think Rebecca Ross is such an underrated writer. I really think that their books are so much fun to read. This is like a fantasy where Clementine, the main character, is the apprenticeship to become the next dream warden, which is basically there's magic in this land. The people's nightmares can come to life, but the dream warden is in charge of keeping those nightmares at bay. Two mystery people come and challenge the current warden to take over their land and they end up winning and Clementine decides that she's going to get her revenge and decides to become the apprenticeship to this other warden who won and then it releases this like ancient old curse on this town and it's like really fun definitely did not expect to love it as much as I did but I gave it a five out of five stars so it was really good Next question is best sequel you've read in 2022 and I actually have not read that many sequels. I think I had three to choose from so I ended up going with Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. I know I am very late to the party of the whole Throne of Glass series but I read this when I had COVID and so I was locked in my room for five days all alone so I decided to finally pick up this book and I actually had a really good time. I think I gave Throne of Glass a three or a 3.5 because I wasn't that into it but this one definitely got the ball rolling i'm definitely very intrigued to read the rest of this series now when will that happen nobody knows because with me it's going to be another two years till i pick up the next book but it was a really fun time so this has been the best sequel that i've read in 2022. the next question is a new release that you have not read yet but want to um this could count as night strider because like i said i'm only 30 percent in but i'm going to go with a different answer so i'm not saying night strider for literally every question but it is is Just Like Mother by Anne Heltzel. I don't know too much about this book but I do know that it is a cult book and I love cults. I think they're so fascinating. I have read a few cult books but they've all been very disappointing so I'm hoping that this can be my shining star of a cult book and that I love it but we'll have to see when I actually pick it up. It came out in May 2022. It's the end of June right now so it is a very new release and I am very excited to actually finally pick it up. I just got it in at my library as an audiobook so hopefully you will see it soon in a wrap-up. Fingers crossed it actually happens but I'm very excited about this one. Next question is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Does Night Strider count for this? Because I mean like it comes out in August which is the second half of the year but if I can't choose Night Strider I am going to choose Babel by R.F. Kuang. I know that everybody is choosing this but I 
am so intrigued by this. It just sounds so much fun and everybody else is hyping it up and that just makes me more hyped to read it, which is really weird because usually when people hype books, I don't want to touch them because I feel like I'm going to hate them and then everyone's going to hate me. But this one, I need in my life. It's just like dark academia vibes. I've just heard really great things from the people who have had early advanced copies of it, so... I want it. Next up is Biggest Disappointment and I am late to the hatred party on this book but I will say I was very disappointed when I read it as were many other people on booktube but it is The Maidens by Alex Michelides and I just hated this book. I thought I was gonna like it. I know that there was a lot of mixed reviews on it but this book just made no sense to me. Like the big reveal at the end about who the killer was made absolutely no sense and I was just pissed off by the end of it. It is also just such a slow read and I was waiting for something, anything to happen and nothing ever happened. And also for a book called The Maidens, which was supposed to be this like secret society, there were no maidens. They like mentioned it maybe twice in the book and that was it. It was just dumb. It was dumb. So don't read this book. Apparently The Silent Patient is really good by this author. I have not read it. I own it, but I'm kind of scared to pick it up now. <laughs> Next question is biggest surprise, and this may come to a surprise for a lot of people because a lot of people did not like this book, but I was a big fan, I think because my expectations were so low because I knew so many people hated it, but it is Lore by Alexander Bracken. And like I said, I just think that everybody said this book was terrible. So I had very, very low expectations. This was one of the first books I read in January but it was so much fun like if you go into it not thinking it's gonna be good it actually turns out to be a really good time and also like can we just take in how gorgeous this cover is I had to like it so that I could keep it on my shelves but I actually genuinely did like it it's next really is favorite new author either debut or new to you I honestly don't know if this is a debut author but she is new to me it is Meg Long she wrote cold the night fast the wolves this book could have been my biggest surprise but I wanted to use her as my author question but this was so much fun it basically follows a 17 year old girl named Senna who is coping with the death of her mother's she has turned to pickpocketing in order to survive on this ice planet that she lives on she is caught by one of the gang bosses pickpocketing from somebody at his racetrack he ends up giving her an ultimatum of either helping this wolf that he has or joining the races which she wants no part of because it was part of the reason why her mothers died so she decides to escape instead and this little wolf comes with her and it's like the story of that it is so much fun totally unexpected did not expect to like it as much as I did but I just think that Meg Long's writing was so immersive you couldn't stop flipping the pages so I'm very intrigued to see what else she comes up with in the next few years the next question is probably my favorite question every year because then I just get to gush about my crushes but is your newest favorite a fictional crush and mine is definitely Wes from a far wilder magic he is just a sweet little cinnamon roll ball of a charm I just loved reading about him he is just a, a pure little angel and I will protect him at all costs I know that this is also another like very underrated read I don't think I have seen anybody talk about this book but I definitely recommend it it's like a mage magic hunting story it's so much fun it covers a lot of darker topics that you don't expect but it's done very well very respectfully and I definitely definitely recommend it if you haven't picked it up yet next up is newest favorite character which I honestly could have picked this one for or newest fictional crush but I thought that she's a bit of a mess so I probably shouldn't have a crush on her but I do but it is Delilah Green from Delilah Green doesn't care she is just such a badass like I'm honestly not 100% sure if I want to be her or date her so that's why I chose her for favorite character instead of crush because like either way I would be happy with Delilah Green. Next up is a book that made you cry. I don't really cry at books so I tried to pick one that just covered very intense topics but also did it in a way that I didn't find overwhelming or like disrespectful so I chose Birthday by Meredith Russo. This book follows Morgan and Eric who share the same birthday. They have been best friends since the age of six so this book takes place over six birthdays 
it follows Morgan, who is transgender. She has been trying to tell her family and friends that she is transgender, and it's kind of them all trying to come to terms with it, as well as her trying to come to terms with it. She also has feelings for Eric, so how does she navigate that? They're going to high school. That's a hard time in anybody's life, so to be going through gender identity problems, that just makes it so much harder. So it's basically the story of Morgan and Eric. It is just done so beautifully. This is another book that I took so long to read because I knew I was gonna love it, but I didn't know if I wanted to have so many feelings all at once, but I finally picked it up in January. Definitely loved it. Definitely recommend it if you haven't read it already, but everybody read it like back in 2017 or whenever it came out. It was super popular, so I'm just late to the party, but I'm glad I'm finally on the bandwagon. I loved it. Next up, question is a book that made you happy and I am going with Somewhere in Styria by Molly Likovich. This is my friend Molly from booktube. If you have not checked out her channel, definitely recommend it, but this is the second book in her Bite Back series. It was supposed to be a trilogy, now it's a series and I'm very excited about it. I'm going to be a character in the third book, so I'm super excited to pick it up. But this book just makes me so happy because I went through the whole beta reading process with her and I've just been along for the ride this entire journey that she's been on and it just makes me so happy to see her be so successful. So to be able to finally like hold the books in my hand, which I know like it's not as big a deal for me to hold them as Molly to hold them, but it's just cool to see it finally become like a physical thing and also these books are just really good so I'm just super proud of Molly and it just makes me happy to like see these on my shelves so I love you Molly I can't wait for your next book but everybody needs to pick up these books it's like sexy vampire time and cannot recommend them enough. The next question is the most beautiful book that you have bought or received this year. I had a really hard time with this and I don't really know why but I could not for the life of me pick a book that I like loved the cover of but I finally chose one and I think it's like an okay pick. It is Edgewood by Christian Cicerelli. I know that a lot of people do not like people on their covers but I think that this one is just like really well done. She's got a purple dress on. Purple is my favorite color so anytime purple is on the cover I am a big fan. The background is green my mom's favorite color is green so obviously I'm gonna like the purple and green combination also a butterfly which is like one of my favorite things in the entire world and then also just like the flowers I just think are so gorgeous and then she's also got a motherfucking knife so like you know not to fuck with her I also just really love this book so I think that that kind of just ties the whole cover together for me but definitely think y'all should read this book it's a little weird I'm not gonna lie by the end of the book you're kind of like what the fuck like, this doesn't make any sense but like it's just such a fun ride that, that I gave it five out of five stars I don't even care but you should read it and then the final question is what books do you need to read by the end of the year and um like so many but if I had to choose one I am going to go with The Prairie of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This book scares the shit out of me but I just want to be able to say that I actually finished this chonker of a book. Will it happen? Probably not. I'll probably read it when I'm like 30 years old and just like quit my job and have nothing to do with my life you know like it's gonna be like a mental breakdown kind of book where like my world is falling apart so I'm just like I'm gonna read this book so I can feel accomplished at something. Catch me when I'm 30. All right, everybody. So that was the mid-year book freakout tag. I will leave the other years that I have done this tag down below if you want to check them out. I will also leave the creators of this tag down below and the questions in case you want to do them yourself. But let me know if you have read any of these books and let me know what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!